Hello YouTube, um, I recently bought one of these uh, on recommendation for one of my subscribers uh, who's bought a couple of them and I thought well mm, they're a fairly good price and they look quite substantial I'll buy one to test and see if it's any good so these uh, on eBay are labelled as uh, lithium battery module power capacity tester meter module discharge so <laughs> got certainly got enough in there and they're £9.85 and they actually came from the seller T happy. So let's uh, have a look at the listing. It has quite a good description on how to set it up and run it, which I'm going to run through in a minute. Uh, yeah, not very interesting. Um, but what I was quite interested in is you don't, don't normally get instructions with things you buy from China. So the fact that it had quite a substantial set of instructions with it. Two pages, like this. So it shows you four sets of keys, set up quite nicely. Sometimes you buy something from China and uh, you can't make head or tail on the menu. So it's got four keys, got four LEDs uh, on the bottom for charge, uh, discharge rate, 500, one, two, and three amps, a work light, uh, and you've got three uh, menu indicators, which are ours. Uh, amp hours and volts and uh, a set of instructions and how to change things so let's have a look at the real thing it is substantially bigger than I thought it would be it does feel well made and the buttons are quite big sometimes you buy something from China again and you use little screws up to change the details but in this you don't so it has some LEDs up the side I wasn't sure why it had four wires, but it's got two for discharging, two for sensing on both positive and negative. And has uh, what's that, a micro USB slot there to give it power. And it actually comes with a spring loaded 18650 holder. So I'm just going to set this up, go plug it in, and uh, find a battery. Well, I've got some batteries, and uh, see which. Um, Let's test it out, we'll put it on 3 amp and see what happens. Right, so first I'll plug it in. He says. The power bank a shake to wake it up. I'll find a cell and drop the cell in. So the cell, it tells you straight away is at 3.7 volts. Now you want to set it up. So press set. Um, I have taken this right down to 0.25 volts just to see if it would let me. Um, it will go down to zero if you want it. So if you have lithium cells, lithium ion phosphate, lilo cells, whatever cells you've got, you can change the voltage down to whatever you want to discharge to. So that, there's no problem there. So let's uh, change this up. And I'm going to be mean and change this to 3 volts. Yep, set. And then we get the next set of LEDs uh, lit up. I wonder if I can get the camera in there so you can see. The problem is when it's, uh, when it's flashing, it's hard to read the writings on the PCB, but there you go. You can memorise them after a while. So 500, 1 amp, 2 amp. Three amp. Let's try it. These cells probably won't take it, but and press set again. Okay, maybe it's on off. There we go. We saved it. So it's lit up on three amp. We're on voltage on the display. If we cycle down using the up and down buttons, which we can't. Okay, let's start it. Press and hold. The work light flashes. You see the voltage drops. And we got amp hours, which slowly climbs up. And you've got runtime in hours. I don't know at this time whether the runtime is done uh, in uh, percentage, as in 100 units per hour. I'll find that out sooner or later. Um, but I do know that 
the fan doesn't start straight away and the amp hours just climb so I'm going to leave this there we go and uh, I have tried this at 2 amp discharge rate and found that it doesn't actually get warm to touch so it does do a good job at dissipating the heat I'm just wondering if this cell will hold on until I get my temperature sensor from the van so I'll go and get that and I'll come back but I'll leave on amp hours so I can start up on that right so I'm back and I'm just going to scan this just around the edge and so the highest I'm getting is 26 degrees which isn't too bad so it's dissipating 3 amps uh, at uh, about 3.5 volts ish it's just putting a couple of watts of heat there. And the voltage is holding. And the cell is that 19 degrees. But then again, when I test 18650s uh, that come out of second hand packs, I don't tend to put too much of a strain on them when I do put them into packs. So I tend to discharge single 18650s at sort of 1 amp and uh, twins from laptop cells where there's two in parallel I discharge at 2 amp so this is quite a good tester unfortunately I haven't got any uh, haven't got a good um, 18650 that I can test in this uh, if I had one that would say uh, a 2 amp hour cell just do a discharge in the IMAX and prove that this comes out with a, a very similar reading I have it on good authority from the other chap who recommended this product uh, that they are very uh, accurate to the IMAX V6 but with the cost of these at say £10, £9.85 um, I might consider getting uh, well half a dozen of these and put them in, a, in, a, in an array where I could actually discharge several cells at once because uh, a copy IMAX V6 can cost about £15 over here and uh, I've had a few go bad on me so I might consider getting half done a dozen of these to cycle my cells because uh, although I haven't got many cells in stock at the moment to strip and uh, and cycle to put into packs these seem to have the ability to cope with quite high discharges and uh, I'm pretty sure you could uh, adapt one of these holders to take more than one cell I mean if you have two in parallel from a laptop pack it will take that quite happily but um, yeah, it's all, all ideas. I mean, I'll leave it to the new year because it's, it's getting cold in the shed and cycling lithium cells in the shed in the cold is not particularly a good idea, obviously, because they don't like the cold so much. So I'm going to leave this going and uh, I'm going to come back when it's uh, reached its the end of its discharge cycle. Actually, it shouldn't be too long, considering we're doing it at 3 amps. Uh, 300 milliamps out of this so far, so it's uh, certainly climbing. So I'll be back at the end, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Right, so we missed the end, but I can replicate the end quite easily. Um, you can then scroll through once the battery has finished uh, its cycle, and see it was on for almost 10 minutes. We took 450 milliamps out of it and the voltage that stands is at 3.62 uh, so by pressing uh, start again there we go flashing voltage drops when it hits 3 volts the charge cycle stops or discharge cycle stops And then you get a series of bleeps and the work light goes solid rather than flashing. I think it's about 10, 10 bleeps. But anyway, that, that is a good... I, I, I quite like that bleep. It's not overpowering like the IMAX V6. Um, so, these for £10 are not bad at all. And again, if you have another cell to test, Pop that in. Yes. 
because remember how to start it off. Push and hold, leap, and then push again. And then that carries on doing its cycle. Obviously just charging to 3 amp. This is a bit harsh for the cells that, that I, I put in, so I would always discharge at sort of 2 amps for 2 in parallel and one, 1 amp for 1 cell. But this is just to prove it works, it's not going to blow up and catch fire on me. <laughs> so that's not too bad. Yeah, I do like these. I think they're quite good. They feel well built. And obviously this was recommended by uh, a subscriber that joined my Facebook page, but I can't remember who he is on, on YouTube, so I don't want to give out his Facebook name online. Yeah, so I think it's quite good. And then they are certainly bigger. They appear bigger than they they do in the picture, so yeah, I do like it. So thank you for watching. For watching. Please uh, subscribe, comment, and rate. Don't forget to jump across the Facebook page that I started up, Shed, Shedland Productions, and hopefully I'll be able to put more content on there. Uh, I'm trying, but work is so hard at the moment, it's uh, um, a bit hit and miss with what I can get up. So thank you for watching. See you later.